Hey guys, this is Tolkien, and welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Part 41. Last time we left off, I had just finished defeating the Lost Sinner, and I had gained a ton of souls from that, and I was deciding how I wanted to level up. Um, based on some of you guys' comments, it seems like uh, the blacksmith's hammer isn't as cool as I thought it was. I was trying to get my strength up to 30 so I could dual wield with it. I was going to replace... Um, the club that I've had for a while, this one here uh, with it, because it seemed like a clear upgrade to me just to go to the craftsman's hammer, but uh, it was pointed out that really if I'm just going to be trying to dual wield, it's better just to go the normal mace, this one here, and just do dual wield maces, because the mace when it's fully leveled up to plus 10 will be better than the craftsman's hammer. Is, is what I'm being told. Uh, and just to kind of check that, I've realized I can buy an ordinary mace from this guy, which I'll do because it's only a thousand souls. It's not really a big deal. Uh, I find items that give me more than souls than that. And then, oh, no. Let's take that off accidentally. Almost use that uh, homeward bone. Okay, so then if I look at an ordinary mace with no elements and do a comparison so the hammer has higher base damage to start with it seems like than the craftsman's hammer yeah the craftsman hammer does significantly well this one's plus 92 but even still that's gonna be like close to 250 damage whereas this would be only uh, 210 so to start with it seems like the craftsman's hammer is better but you guys are telling me that in the end I want to be doing two maces um, for this build and then just double mace it up but for the time being I think I am going to actually equip the craftsman's hammer and try and dual wield it the problem though is I realized it actually requires 10 decks, meaning I need to get my decks to 15 as well in order to dual wield. And the reason I'm going to do it is just simply because until I get the enough shards to upgrade both of these to plus 10, I think that the Craftsman Hammer will still be a da damage upgrade for the time being, until I get all those upgrades. I think that makes sense? I don't know. Let's stop rambling. Uh, so I need 15 decks is kind of the point of that because I want to use the craftsman's hammer also you guys have been suggesting that I try bastard swords and that also requires dex so we're gonna get dex 15 and then keep heading towards 30 strength what has been done may have been a mistake but I do have something in here that resets my level yeah so this here if I if I use this item at the Firelink Shrine um, ladies at the start of the game, the, the I think they're Firelink ladies? I don't know. If I use that item, I can reset all my skills. So if I have made mistakes, I have at least one start over. Um, so might as well experiment and see what happens. Uh, right, so then there's nothing I need from him. I need more souls and I need to get strength to 30. I do, however, need to go back to this blacksmith and see if I can buy a bastard sword from him, just to give that a try. Um, I definitely think I want to keep with the dual wielding, but for the time being, I don't mind experimenting a little bit. So how much would a bastard sword cost me? Oh, I only needed one more point of dex in order to use it, but that's fine. Uh, 3,000 souls. I should be able to get that easily. Let's also get rid of this craftsman hammer until I can actually use it. And then... Kill some of these guys for some souls. Uh, the other thing is, at work I started a uh, mage character a little while ago, which I'm slowly following in the footsteps of this character. It's basically at lunch when I... It, when I've got a little bit of time, I play some Dark Souls. It's my lunch game. Um, so, in following in my footsteps, though, with that 
mage character, I did run into this area, which I had not noticed. And there's a chest back here, which contains something rather useful. A shard and some large titanite shards. Uh, or a Eskis uh, flash shard and a large titanite shard. I somehow missed that on this character, and yeah, I was just playing on my, my work character mage. I'm uh, playing on my mage and just being like, running through there and being like, wait, what's this little alcove? And then finding that, and I was like, how did I miss this? Um, so another flask is great. I'll go pass that in right now. Yeah, I'm trying not to... I'm, I'm making sure with that uh, mage character I'm playing never to go ahead of myself, but I'm basically just following in my footsteps of this main character. It's really neat, though, because I ended up going and doing the exact same path. Um, I just poured it to the same place. I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking about what I'm trying to say here. And so it's... Um, it, it's kind of cool because I went to this area and got the magic mace... Uh, magic tune mace uh, from there and then I'm like I don't know I'm just I'm having a really good run with that mage character I might show some of it at some point as like a bonus episode but it's it's also interesting just seeing how magic is different from the first game which is one of the other reasons I made that that alt character it's also nice to practice without having to worry about like gaining souls on this character or something all right, what am I doing? I'm going to inventory. I'm checking on souls. Okay, I've got a ton here. Let's just use one of these. Should give me 2,000. Yeah. And then buy this bastard sword. Yes. Buy. Okay. And let's see how this works. I hear that it's supposed to be really good. I have too many items. Oh. Great. I already had one. Probably should have checked that first. Okay. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing about this. Is that it's got a great cleave. So for hitting multiple enemies, it's pretty great. Oh wow, that's the heavy. So it doesn't do as much damage as, say, dual wielding, but I don't know. I can see why people like that. So I need to get to a point where I can dual wield these, right? Man, that just does a ton. Ah! Well, this isn't going well. Why can't I run? There we go. I'm just going to book it away from there. That's probably not a good idea. And rest. Um, what am I actually doing? That was a bunch of maintenance stuff I need to get out of the way right at the beginning here. Just like figuring out the leveling up, buying that weapon, getting that shard. But what am I actually progressing towards? Oh, one other thing I should go back and check on is uh, Strahd. You guys were pointing out that he sells those really great weapons. Um, and those weapons are actually sold for... Uh, boss souls. So if we come in here and talk to him. So yeah, there's a great sword. This great stone axe seems like it could be cool for me. Um, I think someone was also saying there's a bastard sword in here. Or maybe it's this barbed club people were talking about. Oh, that requires a lot of decks though. Maybe it's this one? I don't know, apparently there's some good weapons in here, which I should think about getting. Uh, the other one is, I think, this bow, the Dragon Rider bow. A friend was telling me that this is a really good weapon to have because uh, it scales with strength, making it a really good uh, strength bow, like a bow for strength characters. Um, but I don't think I want to buy any of that yet. I haven't really committed to... A strategy? Well, I've committed to dual wielding, and I've kind of just doing other stuff as, like, uh, alternatives. Like, as stuff to... I, I'm, like, experimenting with different... 
like weapon types, but for the most part I'm sticking to the mace dual wielding strategy. So I don't want to waste any of my big boss souls yet. Well, I'm pretty slow on that roll. Uh, let's head back to the boss room and see if there's anything else in there. Uh, maybe a door opened up or something, I'm not sure. And then I need to back track in this, uh, the area I just came from. There's another optional boss I should go check on. Probably do that after this. Okay, so this definitely progresses further. Um, I don't see anything else in here. I wonder... Hmm. I was reading somewhere that, uh, or someone was telling me, I can't remember, that you can light torches in here, or maybe, maybe I dreamt that, I don't know. Because I don't see anything that could be lit for that boss fight. What do we got down here? Oh, the bonfire. Ooh, in a chest. Let's, let's get the bonfire before we get the chest. Ooh. Primal bonfire? A primal bonfire was rekindled. Return to far fl far fire? Interesting. That's not an ordinary bonfire. Well, let's grab this. Which is another branch of yore and um, Elizabeth's mushroom? Oh, this one. Uh, large gradual restoration of HP. Okay, so it's just a healing item. Okay, nothing that crazy. And then let's return to this far fire. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize this was the fire far fire. Bearer of the seek so And you have nothing more of interest to tell me. So that area is a dead end? There's nothing further past that boss. Interesting. Let's then travel to here. Where do I want to? No, I want to go here. This is where I'm going. Um, there is an optional boss to be fought in this direction. So we'll go explore this. I'm not gonna keep... There we go. It's weird. I miss dual wielding. But I'll keep using this for a little bit just to see if it's better. Give it a fair shake. Alright. Oh, shoot. Come on. Ah. I couldn't roll into that barrel for some reason. I was trying to roll to the left, but the exploding barrel didn't seem to want to break. Or I was just stuck. Yeah, it was weird, because that one there, I kept trying to get the cleave to go off on those guys, but it didn't seem to want to work. Um, let's just do light attacks on this guy. He seems to be staggered pretty easily based on uh, this weapon, though. Like, it, this weapon must have a high chance to stagger, like a poise break, or I can't remember what that stat is. I think they have poise, but I don't know what stat I use to break them. Uh, let's see if I can cleave. Back away. Okay, so yeah, that cleave definitely seems useful. If I could figure out timing on it to hit multiple enemies and keep them from hitting me. I can see the value in this weapon. Alright, so we use this branch. I was also informed that there is an equal number of branches to petrified characters in this game. So I don't need to worry about using them because... Whoa! Are you... Ah! 
I was not expecting an actual enemy. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoa. Things are going poorly. There we go. Okay. Stop panicking and let's readjust. Re recenter myself. So that was not a helpful enemy or a helpful petrified person. It was just an enemy that I had to kill, which is somewhat lame. That's a lot of guards. That's a lot, a lot of guards. Man, how many? It's like five total? The range on this weapon isn't as quite as large as I think it is. I'm going to try and get a flask. I'm just going to keep swinging. Yeah. Oh, frame rate issues. Back away. One more. Okay, that could have went better, although it could have gone worse. <laughs>